What's going on guys and welcome to Bull Gear RC videos. So I've been away for a couple weeks. Uh, what I was doing is I uh, bought a new house, packed all the stuff out of the old house into the new house, got the old house ready to put back on the market for sale. So it's been a hectic couple weeks but uh we're back to work now which means we are back to uh messing around with some of these little rc trucks and uh i got a whole bunch of parts in while i was at home um so uh yeah it's gonna be kind of exciting for me anyway maybe it will be for you too so what we're going to do guys we're going to be focusing on uh today the mega mud bolt build and uh also a little bit with the wraith build because uh, what we have here this is a brand new deadbolt chassis underneath the wraith um i did put the uh, low center of gravity battery tray in here so i could maintain the interior but this truck has a completely stock motor transmission and so on and so forth and this truck the mega mud bolt this was formerly the budget build and we've got the 100 turn motor in here along with a uh a pinion gear from a servo so this thing is geared down it's got uh you know a little bit low lower gears than uh what we want for a mud truck so the idea is today we're going to swap transmissions uh, just because this one's already uh, assembled I'm gonna have to uh, we have to uh, pull the transmission to do a motor swap anyway <coughs> excuse me so yeah we're just going to put the transmission out of this truck into this truck we'll that'll gear this one down and then with the mega mud bolt we're looking for wheel speed so that we can uh, properly utilize these uh, mud ripper tires so what I've got here is a little brushless setup. And uh, I've seen this actually, if you watch 2FMRC, he put, uh, I believe it was the same motor in his, uh, in his B17 and uh, it didn't work out for him. It wasn't good for a crawler. It doesn't have the low speed control. And uh, he kind of said it was a more of an all or nothing sort of a motor and uh well that might not work for a crawler but for a mud truck that might work pretty good so what we're going to do is we're going to install this one in here with the pinion gear from here and see can we get a little extra wheel speed out of this thing and uh you know get these uh get these mud ripper tires to rip through the mud and uh what I have here, this one, uh, this comes with its own ESC, brushless ESC in the motor. And uh, this came out of, actually, this is the upgrade receiver for the Hobby Plus. I got the, uh, I got the radio and everything, so this is kind of a, uh, just pull it out of the parts bin, kind of a receiver that we can use. So that's the idea today. We're going to see if we can get a little bit of wheel speed out of this uh scx24 platform and utilize better these mud ripper tires now moving on you might see that there is another uh, brand new deadbolt body here that's the one that came on this chassis and uh, i actually have a plan for this which also involves the mud ripper tires because i want to figure out how to you know best utilize these things and i have actually a mud bolt version 2 coming up and uh, that's kind of a secret project i had to get some uh, custom made parts to uh, see if we can make this thing work i'm not sure that it's going to work but if it does work uh i promise you this one's going to have some wheel speed so uh anyway let's get into it i'm gonna get the transmission out of here and uh We'll get the transmission out of here back into that one and we will start working on installing this brushless motor ESC receiver and see can we get some wheel speed. All right, so we got this thing installed. Um, it was a pretty simple installation. One thing I do want to mention though, 
we did use the little axial screws but they were too long to go all the way into this particular motor so I did take my die grinder and uh, just trim the end off until they were short enough to uh, go in and, and tighten down. So that's something you probably have to do to yours. But yeah, gear mesh is right. Um, screws right in. Nice fit. So let's get this thing installed. All right, guys. So I got this thing all put back together. Um, routed our little uh, sensor wires over here. Um, ESC up here. A little four channel receiver all that fit right back on the uh, stock electronic tray um, fits pretty decent we routed our little antenna wire down the side of the, the uh, frame and uh, yeah so now it's time to set up the ESC and that's when I realized guys that uh, I had a little small issue here because uh, yeah I don't have a little 2S battery with a uh, JST connector on it. So that means that uh, testing this is going to be postponed until I can, uh, you know, swing down to the hobby shop. Maybe I can get that done tomorrow, find a hobby shop around here locally and uh, grab a little battery that's going to work for us in here and uh, see what kind of wheel speed we're going to get with this. So I guess I'm going to have to do another video uh, to uh, show what kind of an improvement in wheel speed we have right now. And uh, we'll have to take it from there. Um, I was kind of excited about getting this thing tested, but you know when you work out of a suitcase in a motel room, sometimes this is what happens. So anyway, till next time guys, Uncle Lee, Bogey RC Videos saying I'll see ya.